time for coffee. Which coffee this morning? I think I'll we'll have this Lavazza one. Yep, that'll do the trick. Bonjour Caroline, un café pour vous. Ah, bonjour. Merci beaucoup. Au revoir. Au revoir. Morning. Well, the thunderstorms cleared up the air last night. It's now a fresher, clearer day today. And um, we're leaving this campsite today. We're in a little French town called Selles sur Plan near a lake called Lac de Pierre Percy, west of Strasbourg. And today we're off to explore the city of Strasbourg, but not before. We have to do a few van chores before we leave the campsite. So we need to top up with water, empty the grey waste and empty the black waste. Empty the black waste, AKA the toilet cassette. You don't want to see this bit. <sighs> Gotta have a neat and tidy bed when you leave a campsite. Certainly do. Off to Strasbourg, Caroline. Yeah. You ready for Strasbourg? I am, looking forward to it. We've arrived in Strasbourg, we found somewhere to park, and a quick coffee to refuel, and now we're going to go and explore the cathedral and the city centre. we drive south through the Alsace to a little town called Ornans where we park up for a couple of nights on the outskirts of town. We are surprised at how lively the town is and how many people are out in the evening. There is even live music in the centre of town and lots of people in bars having fun. This is in stark contrast to other towns we have driven through where the streets are deserted in the evening. 
plan for the next few days is to drive through the valley of the River Lou and take life slowly. in a lovely little campsite in the town of Voulafon which is in the valley of the River Lou. This is our lovely campsite, quite empty. So this is a municipal campsite called Le Pré Belly and it is a mere 28 euros for two nights, so 14 euros per night. And here is the van, so we're now going to top up the van with water, empty the wastewater, and Ian's favourite job, emptying the toilet. We're in this lovely little valley, so this river is the River Loo, and it wends its way to, through a beautiful valley. And today we're going to go to the source of the Loo. Let's have a look. Let's have a peek. We'll stand back. We don't want any smell. But it has a little tube that comes out. Like that. And it just gets emptied down the toilet. Your favourite job, isn't it? Oh, yeah. I love emptying this toilet. You can want to film a bit of splash back out the toilet. Not really. been driving up the valley of the River Lou looking for the source of the River Lou and uh, we have found a magnificent source of the River Lou. So we've just stopped for a coffee break after looking at the source of the River Lou, doing a bit of planning. Where are we stopping tonight, Caroline? Well, I've got two choices. We can either stay on the outskirts of Pontalia or we can carry on and drive to a place called Levia. So I'm just working out the pros and cons of each. Excellent. Went to the tourist information and got this excellent guide and mapped the uh, local area and that's what we've been using isn't it Caroline for our it trip is, up the yeah. valley of the river Lou. So 
pretty good this one. So planning to drop down here to Pontalier to get some supplies. Then I think we're going to take this route, stay in Levia overnight and then come down this route de Sapin. All the way down here. So we're heading down here to Geneva. So we're in the French supermarket. This is the red cheeses. We're trying to decide what cheese we're going to have. So we start here, we've got blue cheeses, brie's, all kinds of soft cheeses. All the places, Savoie, Bourgogne, Langres. And then we come to all kinds of little tiny, gorgeous looking cheeses, goat cheeses. Then we get to the hard ones. We've got all kinds of Italian cheeses, French cheeses, Goudas, and then the area is known for its Comte cheese. And look at the array of these. How do we choose? These are all Comtes. We get soft cheeses again, and then another array of Comte cheeses all different ones, all different grades. We've gone for the most expensive one. 